All right, let's automate customer support. So you remember we created the no code rag application. Today, we're going to use that rag workflow to automate customer support. So as soon as there is a ticket created on Zendesk, we'll capture the summary of that issue and we'll find out the answer of that query from our knowledge base. Be it Google Drive, S3, wherever your wikis are installed, wherever your archives are, from your data, we'll get the correct answer. And all of the answers are going to be recorded in a Google Sheet such that it becomes easier for us to respond and update all the tickets. Ready to go. So let's bring the customer support time down to almost instantly. Okay, so this is the workflow that we have which will help us automate the customer support tasks, mainly kind of answers that we want in order to resolve our ticket. So Zendesk Ticket Reader is the main node here and uh, Gumloop offers an integration with Zendesk. So Zendesk Ticket Reader, this is the node that I'm using here. You have to provide the type of tickets, the priority status of those tickets, what's the current status, so open, pending, sold, priority is low, normal, high, urgent, and then what kind of output you are looking for. So what kind of data that you want to extract from that ticket. There could be request a email, subject, description, created date, updated date, all of those things. Now, I've created a Zendesk account for this uh, example for this video. Here you can see I have got like five tickets. If I open this up, they're like uh, issues that people have raised. I've been browsing your site. I keep seeing this term flat pack delivery. I'm not sure what this means. So there are like certain knowledge based question FAQs and then there are some urgent questions. For example, uh, shipping cost or there is this question around new delivery address. Looks like I jumped the gun. Uh oh, OK, so they've are requesting that they want to update the address but don't know how to do that. Now I've created a document for example this ecom policy doc and in this document archives companies usually have these sort of policies and you know long pdf documents that are very hard to go through and to find answers to users queries. So this is where our workflow automation is actually going to shine. I have automated this whole process. That means we are going to read the ticket and we're going to look into this document, find out the answer and capture the answers within this Google Sheet. So all of these tickets, the five tickets that we have, we are going to go through them you want to find answers to all of these if there are no answers then we'll basically write that you know answer is not available at the moment so you'll have to then put in work to resolve those tickets but for most of them we'll be able to find answers in the faqs in the policy doc and all of those things and then we'll write it in google sheets so the video that was released on feb 3 the third automation that we did build no code rag application we are actually going to leverage that these two flows are actually coming from that video itself i've changed a few things i'll just walk you through it so first thing is extract all the information request a email subject description type these are the things and if you want like other details you can capture those as well i've just uh, taken these type subject query i'm combining the text of each of these tickets and then i'm passing it to drive answer here drive answer subflow gets triggered at the top you can see the input layer this is where our tickets data is coming and it's basically a query it's going to work just like we saw in our no code rag application the query basically is coming from here so query is what the user is trying to get resolved and the google drive folder where our ecom policy now you might have multiple documents currently i have only one so we'll have to go through all the documents and you know chunk them make sure we are able to find answer for our users query so file reader so this is now the same flow as i showed within the third automation of the series so drive answer is simply a rag application. The only thing is the user query, the ticket data is now going into your similarity search node over here. Similarity search and the prompt. Finally, it goes into ask AI, it generates a response and gives it back to automate customer support. Finally, once the answer comes in, 
we write it in proposed response. And when you run this workflow, it creates this sheet. So you can see request an email. These are all the emails. These are the subjects that we have picked. Description, proposed response. And here it has mentioned where it is capturing the answer from. So you can see ecompolicydoc.pdf. So it has mentioned the name of the file and then what the answer should be. So shipping cost depends on these three things. This is what is mentioned within the ecom policy doc. Now, all you need to do is simply just copy paste this. Further, there are going to be ways to, you know, respond directly on Zendesk, but that's for a later video. So this is how you can automate a bunch of tasks and resolve all these tickets at a faster pace and make sure that your customer gets the best experience. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what other workflows you would want to see. By the way, I've created a complete course on SEO, how to automate SEO for your company, for your agency. So if you are interested, do check the link in the description. There's a complete course with 10 workflows that are going to be super, super useful for your business. And yeah, there's a ton of great content coming your way. So make sure you are subscribed. That's all. I'll see you guys tomorrow.